Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your fifth AngularJS tutorial and in this video I'm going to introduce you to directives. <laughs> okay then guys, so directives pretty much run the show in Angular applications and you're going to be using them all over your code to do different things so it's best that you become friends with them early on. So I'm just going to introduce you guys and get you acquainted and then you can go from there. So in the last tutorial we actually used two directives already. We use this one right here, ng app, and uh, that told Angular that we want the whole of this document to be our application. And then we use this one right here, ng model, and that told Angular that we want to create a model called favme, and we want to store some data in it, okay? So both times we're telling AngularJS to do something for us, or you might say we're directing Angular to do something for us. That's what directives do. They tell Angular to perform some kind of behavior to help us out, all right? Now, there's tons more directives than just these two here, and we're going to explore a lot of them as we go through this course, right? But let's just take a little peek at the documentation to get a rough idea of what we're dealing with here. So if you go to this address right here at the top, I'll leave the link down below, you're going to see a list of all these, diff uh, these different directives on the left, uh, left right here. So if we click on one, let's just click on one that we've already used, ng app. It's going to tell you a little bit about that directive right here and then also give you some examples. So this is a really good reference, guys. If you're not sure what a particular directive does, just head over here, click on whichever directive you want, and it's going to give you some pretty thorough documentation on it. Okay, so it's a really good reference. Uh, I advise you to go there immediately and <laughs> have a look. Uh, but um, you'll notice that these two directives right here, these are both in the form of attributes. Now, that is not always the case. They don't have to be just attributes. They could also be used in the form of an actual HTML element. And we'll take a look at that later on in more depth when we dive into making custom directives ourselves. But uh, just quickly, I could do something like this. I could come down here and I make a tag called Ninja like that. Okay. Now, obviously, that's not a real HTML tag, although I am pushing for it to be added. But uh, I can do this in Angular by defining a custom directive called Ninja. And then what I could do is program some behavior into that directive so that whenever I write this Ninja tag in my HTML, something cool will happen, like uh, displaying a random picture of a Ninja or something. Okay? So they're really flexible, and we can create a directive to do pretty much anything we want. Uh, and it essentially just extends HTML's functionality for you, and it makes life easier for you when you're doing bigger projects, okay? So, for the next few lessons, we're not going to be looking at this form of directives, the HTML tag. We're just going to be looking at this form right here and going through quite a few different directives that do different things. But we are going to look at this later on, like I say, when we do custom directives. So there we go, guys. That is what directives are all about. Uh, I know this has been a really short lesson, but I just wanted to give you an idea of what they're all about before I start throwing them at you all over this code so you're not so confused about what they actually are. Okay, so any questions whatsoever, feel free to uh, leave a comment down below. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to subscribe, share, and like, and I'll see you in the very next tutorial.